Hey guys, uh, thanks. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you for the 500 subs. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please like and subscribe now. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the love and support, guys. Um, today I'm going to be talking about different sea fairy comps that I've tried out. Uh, what I found works, what doesn't work. Um, so let's get into it. First comp that I use is sea fairy, strawberry crate, licorice, Gibbonella cookie, and black raisin. And the main reason I use this comp right now is because of the defense. When I use the corn at level 12, I'm getting about 45% defense plus the 20% defense from licorice when licorice uses his skill. That's giving me about 65% defense. I found this works better using the defense horn versus the feather because the defense horn allows all of my team to survive. Where I've had a problem when I'm fought, when I'm fighting against Sea Fairy and say for two other damage dealers that are area of effect like Black Raising Cookie and Latte, they seem to kill like three of my cookies at once and Feather's only bringing back one. So the best, I think, approach is to take the horn use that and try to keep your whole team alive. The key when you do that is you're gonna want big damage resist on your team so that no one dies in the first place. It depends on the matchup, right? Sometimes Feather's better, sometimes Horn, but overall I found Horn to be better. And I'm primarily using Licorice over say like Latte because my Licorice is level 60, right? So, I'll show you the Latte comp later on. Latte is a fantastic alternative to this comp. Um, I just want to note, I did lose a lot of bottles at the beginning when I first tried this comp because Strawberry Crate only had a 4 second cooldown, or just did not have enough cooldown at the beginning. The start timer was 4 seconds instead of 3 seconds. If you have that 4 second start cooldown, you do not get Sea Fairy's attack off first. The other team Sea Fairy will always go before your Sea Fairy, even if your Sea Fairy has a lot of cooldown. So you want that 3 second start cooldown for Strawberry Crate. Now let's go take a look at our cookies. So the first cookie I want to highlight is Sea Fairy Cookie. Sea Fairy Cookie, for the most part, in the meta is 3 attack toppings and 2 cooldown toppings. And what you really want to do is have over 11.8% cooldown. I got about 12.4%, that's good. 11.8% gives that good start cooldown timer. You also want damage resist as high as you possibly can get it. I have 17.3%, which I'm pretty happy with, but some of the whales out there have it at 27%, right? So if you can get that damage resist up to 20%, 25%, it really, really helps, right? Some fights, you're gonna get to a sliver of health. So the higher damage resist you have, the longer Sea Fairy survives. And that's what wins you a lot of matches because as soon as Sea Fairy dies in some of these Sea Fairy versus Sea Fairy matches, you've lost the battle. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is Strawberry Crate. So Strawberry Crate, you need that three second start cooldown. So in order to achieve that, you want at least over 18%. I know that's not technically correct, it's 17 point something, but just to be safe, make it over 18% cooldown so you get that three second start timer. And then you want that damage resist to be as high as possible. I only have a 13% just because I have cooldown toppings on Strawberry Crate, Pure Vanilla Cookie, Licorice, on so many of my cookies. Latte, Sea Fairy. So it's hard to get good damage resist toppings. But I'm working on that and I like to get the damage resist toppings up to like 18 to 20% even. Next cookie we're going to look at is Pure Vanilla Cookie. So Pure Vanilla Cookie, for me, has 18.8% cooldown, damage resist to 25%. Some people use full cooldown, some people use damage resist. Um, I don't like using full damage resist because the cooldown is just too slow, and I think the main point of Pure Vanilla Cookie is to heal my other cookies, not to just keep Pure Vanilla Cookie alive. If the heal is not coming fast enough and my other cookies die, what's the point? So a lot of people use a mix of cooldown and damage resist. That's great. I've seen a lot of people with a mix where they have like cooldown at 12% and damage resist to like 33%. That's awesome. Um, I prefer this because that 18.8% plus the cooldown bonus of 5% gets you the 23.8%. That's a huge cooldown. That gives you a lot of healing. Plus my damage resist is pretty good at 25%, though I would like to get it closer to 30%. So, Pure Vanilla Cookie, it's up to you, but you're gonna want the highest mix of cooldown and damage resist that you can get, obviously. I'm gonna talk about a few more cookies. Black Raisin, you're gonna go full attack. If you use Red Velvet, I'm gonna show you comp with that. 
you can go cooldown, you can go full attack. I see a lot of people go full attack with just like 3% cooldown now. Um, I prefer a mix of cooldown and attack. With Licorice, let's take a look at Licorice. So my Licorice has 22%, 22.4% cooldown, mainly because I'm trying to get that second skill off when I'm in my guild raid battles. Um, but you want to get that cooldown as high as possible and that damage resist as high as possible. It's only 14.4% because I'm still working on my top ends. So if I can get that cooldown to over 22% and that damage resist to over 18%, I'm going to be super happy about that. Latte, like I said, cooldown. Let's look at Latte's top ends. About 16.4%, right? Just trying to get that silence off as fast as possible. All right, let's look at RV. So I like to use RV. Um for specific enemy comps that I fight. RV is especially good at taking that pure vanilla cookie on the back line, dragging the pure vanilla cookie to the front, and then wiping that pure vanilla cookie out, right? So you just have to test out this comp if you want to use it to replace Licorice with Red Velvet. Red Velvet is good at some comps and not so good at fighting other comps. For instance, Red Velvet is not so great against fighting the same comp that I showed earlier with Licorice. But, a comp that's great against everyone and I would use more often if I had a level 60 latte, my latte is only 49, is latte instead of licorice, right? So this is strawberry crepe, sea fairy, latte, black raisin cookie, and pure vanilla cookie. This is absolutely fantastic as a comp because you got the silence going and then you're staggering that, you're going back and forth, silence, sea fairy's got the stun. And that matters, right? Because if you can silence your opponent for one second, and that one second costs your opponent from using that shield, and you hit them with Sea Fairy and Black Razor Cookie, that one second can allow you to wipe them out, right? Because Pure Vanilla Cookie puts that shield up, you didn't wipe them out, and they're healing again. So, this is an absolutely fantastic comp. Another comp that I've tried is Madeline. Just because this is the Mata comp, my Madeline is only level 30. I would love to level up Madeline um, in the future if I have a little bit more experience. Uh, right now, I don't. I've been focused on leveling up Strawberry Crate. But if the meta doesn't change when this next update comes out, and I think the next update is coming out pretty soon, and Madeline is still one of the absolute best cookies in Arena, which I think will happen because Madeline works in a lot of speed comps, right? Not just this. Madeline works with Pastry Cookie, works with Mint Comp. So, if you have the experience and you have um, the ability to promote and level up and increase the stars on Madeline, go for it because Madeline is an absolute beast if you're using that speed treasure with Madeline. And keep in mind, you need to make sure the attack speed is up on Madeline so Madeline can hit fast and get that speed treasure boost. How could I forget the last comp I wanted to show you? The last comp is this Sea Fairy Stun Comp. The Sea Fairy Stun Comp, if you have a high enough almond and you put full attack toppings on Sea Fairy, you don't have to, but full attack toppings on Sea Fairy makes the comp even better, you can beat most teams instantly, right? So if you're willing to invest in Sea Fairy, willing to invest in almond, get almond to 60, get that. Almond skill to level 60, and willing to put full attack toppings on Sea Fairy. This does a lot of damage, and I actually see this team at the top of the meta. So it is a very viable team. There are people in my guild that have never reached Master, but now because of Sea Fairy and the Sea Fairy Stun Comp, they're in Master, no problem. That that is how good the Sea Fairy Stun Comp is. So thanks for checking out this video. These are some of the meta comps. These are some of my favorite Sea Fairy comps. Of course, this could change because there could be an update coming out real soon. Um, let me know if there's any other Sea Fairy comps that you like that are doing real good. Uh, thanks for watching this video.